Okay, so here we are going to learn about sorting in Microsoft Excel. Now, sorting is probably one of the easiest things you can do in Microsoft Excel because you're just telling it what you want to sort and how you want to sort it. So we'll start off with something quite simple. Here we have a practice tab, okay, in our worksheet, and we have name, surname, company, and email address. And let's say, for example, I asked you to sort this list according to surname. There are a couple of ways of doing this. Let's have a look. So we've got, I can go ahead and select everything. Okay, in this situation, it's easy because I've only got 20 entries, okay, 20 entries here. And so I don't have to actually like worry about that. I can actually just select everything like I've done now. And I'm gonna go to data and sort. Here is my sort and filter group. Now, what can we do? We can sort it A to Z or Z to A, ascending or descending, or we can click on sort. Now, if I'm going to just click on A to Z, it's gonna just assume that I want to sort by the first column, but we don't want to sort by the first column. We want to sort by the second column, which is surname. So I'm going to click on sort. Sort, and let's see what we have here. Aha! So here you can see it's I've got a couple of things. I've got add level, delete level, copy level, all these buttons, and then column, sort on, order, and then sort by, sort on, and the order. So first thing to do, it says here, my data has headers, which is true because if we have a look, I'm going to close this so you can see, the very first row has got name, surname, company, and email address. Those are the headers for these columns, and I've selected them on purpose, right, so you can see what that does. So I'm going to go back to sort, and my data has headers is selected because I've selected the headers as well. So if you've selected the headers like I have, make sure you make sure, make sure that you make sure that you make sure that it says my data is headers. Okay, so sort by the column. So what column are we sorting by? And because I selected the headers, there they are. Name, surname, company, email address. Well, I want to sort this by surname. Click on that. The cell values, yes, whatever is in the cell. And A to Z. All right, A sending. So let's have a look. Perfect. There we go. So from Bell to Zamora, that's quite a cool surname, uh, we have sorted the records. Here they are, just because we clicked. Now, that's the one way of doing it. The other way, watch this. It's the same way, but it's just a little quicker. And I don't select anything. I've just placed my cell A1. I've activated cell A1. I've clicked in cell A1. And I click on sort. And as you can see, it selects it. Microsoft Excel selects everything here, okay? And it's already detected that the data has got headers, all right? And although I did sort this before, it says surname, but I could choose, I could change this, okay? I could say sort by name and then A to Z as well. There you go. What if I wanted to sort according to uh, surname and company name? So two sorts in the same go. Okay, we can actually do that. So watch. Um, back in cell A1, data, sort. My data has headers. You can see that they've been selected there. Sort by, so we'll do surname, sort on A to Z. Great. Here is where you add another level of sorting. So I'm going to first sort by surname, add a level, and look, it says sort by surname, then by, let's do company name, like I said before. So first it's going to sort according to surname, then it will do another sort according to the company name. So let's see what that actually looks like. So here you can see uh, B, C, E, F, G, H, that's alphabetical. And then you will notice according to these, these have been sorted alphabetically as well, but it depends on the surname, okay, as well. So that's how we sort two things at a time. Now we're going to look at a slightly bigger list. And if you go to the student's worksheet, student's worksheet, now we have a fake database of a school, a fake school. It's not real, I promise. And if we scroll down, you'll see there is a lot of people in the school, okay? It's a big school. All right, we have a thousand no, I lie. We have 600,000. 600. 600 people. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. So that's a nice database to work with. 
and you can see it's got all different types of information here. So let's say I told you, could you please sort this according to the grades? So I can see all the grades, please. So let's have a look. Um, okay, that was a bit small. Hey, so let's have a look. I'm going to go over here. Let's see where the grades are. Grade, there they are there. At, and you can see at the moment, column P, there it is there, that obviously it's not sorted according to grade. So we're going to sort this according to grade. Here we go. Click on ID, just the first cell the first cell of the whole range and I'm going to click on sort sort it selects everything for me which is really cool and it says my data has headers which it does and what am I going to sort by well not ID I said grade and look here are all the field names that I put in row number one there is grade and we'll do from smallest to largest you could do from largest to smallest or choose your own custom sorting but we'll just do smallest to largest from eight onwards okay so let's have a look. click OK great the list has now been sorted let's have a look and see if it has been sorted indeed here we are in column P there are all the grade eights and I'm gonna scroll down here wow that's a lot of grades there are all the grade nines there are the tens elevens etc okay and that is how we do that so we could do simple sorting or sorting according to more than one criteria but that's it either select all of your data and then click sort well data sort or go to the first cell in that whole range okay and then click sort make sure that you've got data has headers on if there are no headers please take that off obviously if there are no headers don't have that checked because that'll make a bit of a mess of everything so please be aware of that okay so that is how we do sorting and i will give you some exercises now to practice sorting data in microsoft excel